Today we'll look at how you can put text behind objects in Affinity Photo. You can start with an image like this and make it look like this. So I'm here in Affinity Photo and I've opened this image of some mountains here. It looks like a pretty nice place to go. And what I want to do is put some text behind the mountains over here. I'll select my artistic text tool. Let's click and drag and I'll type mountains. Let's resize it. So perhaps I want my text to be a little bit behind these mountains. Let me hide the text for the moment. So the first step is I want to make a selection of my foreground layer. And by foreground, I mean the parts of our image that will appear in front of the text. So I'll choose my selection brush over here, the selection brush tool. And I'm going to select the area that I want to be in front. So I'm clicking and dragging here, going through here. I'll select the bottom part also. Up here, it selected some of these mountains, but I actually want these mountains to be in the back. So I'm going to hold Alt, and I'm going to click and drag over them again. And now they'll be unselected. So I'll just select these mountains in the front. So I think that's a pretty good selection. Now I'm going to go to my mountains again. I'll make them visible. And I'll click Mask Layer. Now when I do that, you can see it actually did the opposite of what I wanted. So I can easily fix that. With my mask selected here, I'm just going to select Layer, Invert. And now we have the result I want. You can see the word is behind the mountains here. Now let's try repositioning the words. I'll click Mountains. Let's click the Move tool. Maybe I want it to be bigger, so I'll make it bigger. And you see there's a problem here. We're losing the effect when we change the text. Let me undo this. There's actually a really easy way to get around this. With my mountain selected here, we want to make sure the children are locked into place. When I say children, I mean the layers that are nested inside our text here, including the mask. So with your text selected and the move tool selected, click these arrows up here and then select lock children. And what this is going to do is make sure the mask does not move when we move the mountains text. So now when I move the mountains, you can see we can put it anywhere and the effect is being preserved. I can resize it, put it up here. I can even change the text. So I've changed the text here and it still works perfectly. I'll put it back to mountains. We can make our text a little bit more interesting. Maybe we can add a little bit of a gradient to it. So I'll select the gradient tool. I'll click and drag. Just drag it up a little bit there. I'll just give it a slight white to gray gradient there. It gives a little more depth. And here we have our final result. If you want to be notified when my next video comes out, click the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.